managerial job here 18 years ago. The secretary's office was in a terrace house across the street and Kendall himself was ordered to save money by cutting back on postage stamps and on milk for his tea. Nonetheless, he won them promotion and now such financial restrictions are a thing of the past. Roy Hodgson is reviving the Rovers from a post-championship hangover. Today, with Duncan Ferguson's aerial prowess such a threat, Hodgson could have done with Colin Hendry, but he's got a knee injury, hence a first Premiership start for the Norwegian Tura Pedersen. Gary Flickcroft, sent off on his debut in this fixture two years ago, is recalled. Everton make two changes following Sunday's home defeat by Southampton. Watson and Oster are rested, they're both on the bench. Bilic is back, and Terry Phelan makes only his second start in as many months. And among those watching on, Jimmy Armfield here on radio duty. It was he who recommended Kendall for the Blackburn job and who also persuaded Everton's bright young thing, Danny Cadamatari, that his international future lay with England. The referee, Paul Alcock, has left behind his Surrey roots and is now resident in leafy Kent. Blackburn get us underway. They start as favourites, unbeaten in seven matches. Everton's form is patchy. They prove they can lift their game, but... Can they do it when they're not playing against Liverpool? That's a question that a number of their devoted followers, 4,000 in number here at Ewood today, are asking. Pedersen. This is a good examination of Torre Pedersen up against Duncan Ferguson. Stewart, here's Ferguson, and Kadamatari, and Gary Speed! have the lead and all the elements came together the aerial power of Ferguson the touch of Kadamatari and the finish from the Welshman captain Gary Speed played in by Stewart Blackburn's defense gave so much time and space to Ferguson and you would always back speed especially with a deflection from there along with Dennis Bergkamp and Sutton to whom the cross is aimed Corner kick of Craig Short. Five Blackburn players inside the area for Ripley's kick. Awkwards! Well, Southall committed himself at the near post and it nearly crept in at the far. Southall was balked by a defender. It was for Sherwood to Gallagher, backs up, and the referee's waving play on. Well, the referee's assistant put up his flag, and now it's going to be a free kick, and Craig Short has also manhandled the referee. Now, Paul Walcock has got some sorting out to do. Because the referee's assistant on this near side definitely raised his flag for offside against Kevin Gallagher, and the referee waved play on, and now there's a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area. It's in a perfect position for the likes of Sutton and Sherwood. Every Everton player back defending, it's Chris Sutton. He's onside, he has a clear chance. Lucky Blackburn. Ferguson hasn't scored in 11 games, which by his standards is not a good run. But this was a good run. And when Flowers got a fist to it, it could literally have gone anywhere. Ripley. shot Southall looking quizzical Croft shot the only question is did Gallagher get a deflection Croft will be keen to claim it and on the basis that he's never before scored for Blackburn Rovers it's going to be hard to take it off him you take your pick 
Croft. Blackburn finishing this period of play much the stronger. Short. Good pass by Oster. McKinley. Now, will Ripley's pace undo Everton? Gallagher has gone speeding through as well. Flickcroft's available. And the referee has decided there was a touch off Graham Stewart, and it's a corner. In fairness, there were not too many protests from Stewart and his colleagues. Ripley's corner. Southall rather miscued the punch. At least he got good distance. All the way back to Ripley. And Flickcroft came off the boot of Short. For an... Well, he's getting closer. He's had a number of shots from that sort of distance. Most of them have zoomed over the bar. That one nearly removed it. Southall could have had no complaints had that beaten him. Oster. Williamson. Back in this clearance hit Terry Phelan, who's still got it. But he's got no one to cross to. Ferguson belatedly is arriving. Olsho's header. Speed. Oster. Unafraid to take players on. Hinchcliffe. Back to Oster. Now Ferguson's waiting for this. There he is! Splendid goal by Everton. Duncan Ferguson has ended a drought of 11 who've not won a Premiership match away from home for nearly a year are in front for a second time. If Solskjaer is known as the baby-faced assassin, then this chap John Oster should be the baby-faced apprentice. Ferguson is well past the apprentice stage. The sort of cross that defenders have nightmares about. Blackburn with it all to do again. Gary Croft to Gary Flitcroft. Blocked by Stewart. Through the legs of Williamson. This is Croft. Plenty waiting. Sherwood, though, could easily be crowded out. And Ripley! It was Hinchcliffe who got to it. Somehow Craig Shaw headed it clear. Kenner. Everton live to fight another day. Back to Sutton. And on for Flickcroft. Chose to take it wide. Ripley, four in the box. McKinley. Well in by speed. And this could work to Everton's advantage. Stewart. Phelan is the man over. Stewart wants it back. Osho! He's presented it to Ferguson. And Pedersen has got his defensive colleague out of trouble. That's a good opportunity. Wilcox. Sutton. McKinley. Wilcox. Duff. finding Kenner. These are sure to be testing times for Everton's defence. Last ten minutes of play or so, Ripley's cross, Sutton, oh, and Dyke! Damien Duff's first goal for Blackburn. He signed from a club called Lourdes in Ireland. And the powers of recovery he's instilled in Blackburn are fitting of that name. Ripley's cross. One can only feel sorry for Southall. That was a wonderful stop. But he was powerless as Duff followed in. Sutton. So. 
Chris Sutton. They've been sensing a winner now. Ripley. Short header. Sherwood. Gallagher. Well, Gallagher was appealing for the first challenge by Short, but there was a bit of pushing going on. Sherwood. Ripley. Five in the box for Blackburn. And the referee's assistant, much to Southall's displeasure, said that went out of play. And the eagle eyes of Brian Lowe from Doncaster. It's a corner. Which Ripley will take. Sutton! Southall got there again. Kenner! Southall once more! 800 appearances in club football and still a remarkable player. A double save. Ripley's kick. Sherwood! It's all going Blackburn Rovers way. Everton's marking went to pot. And Sherwood, for the third time in four games, scores a crucial goal for the side who could be in second place tonight. It's the third goal of the season for Rovers captain. Ripley's corner. Sherwood, unmarked, short, couldn't get there in time. Blackburn goes second in the table. After a game rich in entertainment, Tim Sherwood claims the winner five minutes from the end of a topsy-turvy contest in which Everton were twice ahead, but Damien Duff's introduction ten minutes from time proved to be the turning point. He got the second equaliser helped to add to the pressure, much of which was thwarted by the outstanding Southall, who limps from the field because of that foot injury. He really shouldn't have played today. And while Blackburn celebrate, for Everton you have to feel sympathy. Usually they travel as well as a pint of real ale. Today they were stout throughout, but may feel bitter at the outcome.